Hey everyone, Distraction Crab here with a guide for Energanichiro. Depending on your playstyle, Energanichiro won't be too different from the normal fight, but does support AI changes that can be more punishing to more passive playstyles. From the original, the first change you'll notice is the opener. Instead of an arrow shot and slash, it is now the Sakura Dance attack. This will happen every time, just like the normal fight, and is very predictable. You can counter this in a number of ways, either fully deflecting it, using the loaded umbrella, or utilizing firecrackers. Mortal Draw and other combat arts do not interrupt this attack. Throughout the fight, Genichiro will use this as he desires, and the only telltale sign is a long pause. This should give you enough time to recognize it, as it lasts quite longer than all of his other windups. Once you finish defending against this move, the fight will now commence, as with the normal fight, aggression ends up being the better strategy. You can still use the strategy of attacking until he either deflects or does an exclusive motion, such as a backing away to perform an area assault, or running around you to either commence floating passage or to perform a sweep. During the fight, the best shinobi tools to use are the Loaded Umbrella, Sabi Maru, or the Flame Vent. The Loaded Umbrella can be used to defense against the various moves that cause chip damage. However, chip damage will still occur as usual without Kudo's Charm. Both Sabi Maru and Flame Vent can be used to stack damage over time effects to make it easier to land a posture kill. These methods are also quite efficient with spirit emblems, requiring only one flame vent and one usage of living force to inflict burn, and less than two full combos from the Lazulite Sabimaro to inflict poison. Note that Sabimaro will not prevent Kenichiro from firing his bow or performing other attacks, so take care of spamming Sabimaro for too long. Both the spear and the umbrella can be used for their fiery effects, however, they are far less efficient and not recommended. The spear, however, can be used to pull Genichiro back to you if he performs any backstep. Firecrackers are also a useful tool, cancelling both Sakura Dance as well as preventing Floating Passage which now has more complex interactions. The Loaded Axe can be utilized against Genichiro, but is not overly effective. While it can deal large amounts of posture damage, it can heal up rather fast if he is not already low on health. Thus, if you're relying on tools, you'll less likely have the emblems to utilize it fully. Miss Raven can also be used against Sakura Dance. As long as you don't move, you will transition into an aerial attack, allowing mid-air combat arts, or you can run behind him and avoid him entirely. If you run away from the attack if the Raven has started its flight, you will be clipped by the final slash of the Sakura Dance. Floating Passage, signature move of both Genichiro and Tomoe, now can transition into three different stages. The first is the same. You choose to deflect the whole thing and Genichiro will have one final slash and in phase 3 will transition into a thrust which can be countered. The second is a run around and sweep attack. This can happen both when you choose to deflect the combo or if you choose to back out when he starts it. The third is when you choose to run away from Floating Passage. Partway through the combo, he will rush at you and do a quick slash and follow up with the remaining portion of Floating Passage. All of this can be deflected, but can be difficult and punishes those who run away too frequently from Genichiro. The most effective ways of dealing Floated Passage are either to use Firecrackers as he starts to wind up for it, or to deflect the first two moves and dodge around him on the third slash. The main differences in this fight, aside from Sakura Dance, are the new AI variances and quirks. The first one of note is his backstep and shoot combo. When he performs this, he will now do a rushing slash at you after firing. The next is his Punisher. Normally, when you create distance between you and Genichiro, he can choose between a variety of arrow shots or other slashes. He now has a quicker charge and slash that often transitions into a Sakura Dance. Now for Phase 2. When he does his area slam, normally in phase 2 he will choose randomly between thrusting and sweeping. Now he only does a thrust. The last is his lightning attacks in phase 3. Now when you attempt to redirect his lightning, he will now perform soccer dance which will redirect lightning back at you instead. You can prevent this by using Mist Raven and using that to redirect the lightning in a delayed manner, or you can use soccer dance yourself to prevent the damage and redirect. Miss Raven is more effective due to its more delayed attack, and Soccer Dance is prone to causing Genitro to use Soccer Dance to continue the redirection. Now, for some last general tips. 
Finishing up this fight largely depends on your ability to deal with Kenichiro normally. His new moveset doesn't become very apparent with an aggressive playstyle. If you play passively and run away, he will punish you often and prevent gourd sips. Overall, the best combat arts for this fight is Mortal Draw for fast vitality damage. The other combat arts work well enough, but don't change the flow of combat very much. Specifically, Praying Strikes, Exorcism cannot cancel a Sakura Dance. Other than that, Genichiro isn't too bad, so good luck and may your victory be swift.